before we sprouted wings and antenna, a single oat circled the sun. The oat was so lonely, so it spun, then spun, then spun, until eventually more oats joined. The love that these oats had for one another was so radiant that I could not resist flying closer. I flapped my wings and flew close to the orb, only to land on its whole grain mantle. I do not know where I came from, but this sphere that I know as naphthalene was once my home. Oftentimes I think about where I was born. Did I fly to this planet as a moth? Or was I born on another planet and projected into the nebulous as a cocoon? Lately, I cannot distinguish my dreams from reality. My memories are fragmented, like an unformed oatmeal cookie. All of the ingredients are in place, but there is no egg to congeal my story of origin. Instead, I am left with crumbs of memories, some that may have existed in the past, and some that have not yet manifested. What were we all doing on this small spinning orb? Was it our destiny to inhabit this planet? To eat these grains and enjoy our surroundings? Sometimes I felt that the moths around me were unfulfilled. That we should be doing more than basking in the wonders of this mysterious planet. But perhaps they were truly happy then. And perhaps I should not have taken their complacence for granted.
wasn't long after my arrival on that plane that things started to go bad for my fellow moths. There was an oak shortage halfway through the summer, and one of the moths that had been doing research on alternative nutrition supplements developed a solution to the oak shortage. Little did we know at the time that the invention of rugs would be a bittersweet end to our home. Rugs gained much popularity with the moths on naphthalene. The moths that I once knew living together in harmony with each other and the planet were now hypnotized by a virus that was plaguing naphthalene. No longer did the moths value the oats on which our planet was created. They were so captivated by rugs that they wasted what little oats we had left.
Everything must come to an end. As with the supply of oats that had once been abundant on our beautiful planet, the supply of rocks was starting to dwindle. It was only seven larvae ago that rocks were invented, and that our supply of oats had started to dwindle. When the moths on that feline realized that rocks were becoming scarce, they began to hoard every little bit of the textile supplement they could find. these zombies? I could not believe my eyes. In the short time that we had inhabited the planet of Naphthalene, we had grown from peaceful and loving moths to rug addicted textile fiends. In the midst of all the chaos that was Naphthalene in its last hours, I sought to escape from the place that I once called home.